This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome to this little video of mine, not really a vlog, not really in anything really other than it arrived, you can see it sitting next to me here, the Xbox One X has arrived quite late in the day, it didn't arrive until about quarter to six in the evening, but it's fine, I wouldn't have been using it until now anyway. So, delighted it's here. It's a heavy little beast. <laughs> Didn't expect it. I mean, I heard a few people mention in the videos that it was quite heavy, and I was like, yeah, whatever. But it is quite heavy. I mean, that is a sign of just how much power is in the thing. And, obviously, it's one unit now, but it is, it's a lot heavier than the the Pro, if I remember rightly. I don't remember being surprised by how, how heavy the Pro was. So, it is, it's a heavy little thing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm just going to dig straight in, people, and see what's in here. I've, I've sliced open... <clears throat> So you can see the the box, you've seen them a hundred times probably by now. And it's quite compact and quite uh, quite itty bitty really. The design of this thing is quite sweet. Reminds me a little bit of the PS2 design to be fair. So we've got, at the very top of the box we get a, what looks like some sort of user manual and then you've got some again you've got a game pass trial thing i think and uh i think you get three months free gold or something like that on it which i shall be using because i don't have gold at the moment as i've had no need for it inside the box itself it's basically this is all we're seeing there's not a lot there so what we're going to get here is cables in this little section here and the unit itself and there isn't a huge amount in the box because it's just the console and the cable there's no separate power supply anymore and stuff like that it's all part of the same thing so let's dig in take out the cables first it'll make for getting the actual beast out much easier so we've got this little box here and we have a controller now, I was interested to see if there was any difference in the controller from the day one controller that I've got. So let's have a little look. Bits of sellotape everywhere. Ah, now it is different. I can feel it already. Much different. Yeah, it's much more of a matted... It's got more of a matte feel and it's got a gripped feel underneath. And it doesn't feel quite as... Yeah, it's much more solid as well. The the one that I got on day one, like if you squeezed it, you, you could always hear it creaking in the, the gaps and stuff. So I'm, I'm quite chuffed with that. That feels pretty sweet. So I wasn't aware that that actually modified anything on the, the controller front. But it's very nice. Well, we can pair it here. So here's the day one. <clears throat> the day one one seems to have a... It's, it's much more shinier finish I think let's try and get them up to you so that's the day one on the on this is the day one and this is the new one and the it's got it's not got the chrome d-pad either and the reverse I don't think you'd be able to see what it is I'm trying to explain it's basically this back section here it's almost like a very very slight sort of rough feel to it which is good because it gives an extra grip to it whereas on the day one controller uh, it was just smooth so I don't know if you'll be able to make any of that out but uh, there you go <clears throat> but I mean obviously all the same buttons and all that sort of thing but I mean I'll try and like that creaking noise is me squeezing on the controller it's like where the, where the thing's sealed there's a little bit of movement there. It's always been that way. Whereas you do it with this one, and there's nothing. It's absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. So I'm much, much happier with that. Doesn't seem to be quite as... Yeah, the sticks are still slightly louder. I did know... It's always bugged me a little bit that the sticks kind of make that hollow clicking noise, but it doesn't feel quite as... I tell you, the sticks actually feel a little bit different as well. Let's have a little look. No, no, I think they're probably the same, actually. It's probably just because I've been using them. Just felt a little bit more rubbery, but it's probably just because I've been using that for the best part of four years. So, yeah, really chuffed with the controller. Very, very chuffed with that. The, the little things that bugged me about this, pretty much sorted out. So, lovely. So that's one thing answered. I'm curious to see what sort of cables we have in here. I'm sure it'll be the standard. Oh, there's a novelty. 
I actually gave you some Duracell batteries, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> Normally it's like, yeah, provide your own. As it happens, I've got the recharger kit, so the recharger kit just fits straight in and you, you charge it directly. So I probably won't need the batteries, I'll use them for something else. TV controller or something. A very nice USB, uh, a very nice uh, HDMI cable. It's a good length as well by the looks of it. <clears throat> They always give you a really sweet HDMI cable, actually. The, 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 the first one was very nice as well. So, yeah, very cool. And 4K, I'm going to assume, because it is a 4K machine. Does that actually say anything? I don't think it says anything about 4K on it, but then I haven't got my glasses on, people. And there's a little bit at the end here. That's it now for plugging it in. No massive brick. It's all inside the thing. So there you go. So that's all you've got in the little box that we showed you. Controller, HDMI, power. That's it. So let's have a look at the beast itself, shall we? Ooh, good grief. I don't know, eh? No posh tables and things with my uh, unboxings, people, eh? I mean, it's a beautifully small design. It really is. I mean, it's uh, it's amazing how much power they've got into this thing. Oh, very nice. Nice matte finish to it. Ooh, yeah, it is a, it's a heavy little beggar. Very nice, though. Very nice indeed. There you go. And that's it. That's her. It's a very slim. And actually, the power button was something I was curious. Yeah, it's a proper clicked power button. Not this touch nonsense. <laughs> they did it with the Xbox 360 new ones, the slim ones, and they did it with these bloody Xbox ones as well. You can't dust the damn thing without turning it on. <laughs> uh, so it's a proper clicking button, which I am dead chuffed with. There's a Wi-Fi, uh, I assume a wireless connector button there at the front on that side. And another connector button over on this side on the left, of which looks like some sort of infrared or something. And then you've got your usual on the back. You've got your yeah. So you got your you got your optical in for your sound. You've got your HDMI in and out for the TV because it's the one console that you can feed your TV into, as well as out of. Uh, power plug in, and there's a. Seems to be like some sort of audio in there. I'm not sure what that's for. Standard audio jack fitment, it looks like. And then you've got your network cable <clears throat> uh, plug in there, of which I probably won't use because I'll use the wireless. The Wi-Fi. So there you go. That's your, your ports at the back, people. And there you are. So very, very, very slinky design. like it a lot. And... It does have a, it is get. <laughs> I'm already getting fingerprints from the, the bottom of it. Oh, they seem to vanish actually. Not so. But it is, uh, the, they do kind of go your fingerprints straight away. Whereas with the, the Xbox One original, it was very shiny. So, you know, it was very easy to make, uh, to make marks on it. Not a massive problem for me because I tend not to wander around with it, people. <laughs> Once it's in the cupboard, it's in the cupboard. Um, <clears throat> so there you are. So it is, you know, just the same as... I keep showing you the back of the front. It is just the same as every other bugger that's put one up <laughs> already. I'm well late to this party. People have had them, you know, they've had uh, consoles that Microsoft have sent them, you know, a week in advance of it actually launching, you know, on, into the big channels. So, But I did promise if anyone asked for it on the channel that I would do an unboxing and show it to you. So there you are. I have done it. I'm now going to... I've got everything set up pretty much just to swap them over. What I will need to do is just reset the old one, but I'm going to do that once I know that I've got my profile and everything on the new one. And then I'll just do a factory reset on the old one. Ready for selling. So hopefully, hopefully I'll get 150 quid back for the old one and that'll go towards this one, which was 100, uh, 450. So that's 300, which isn't too bad, is it really, for a, a console of that power, people? So there you are. So I'm going to go off, get it all set up, hopefully get enough time in for a bit of gaming this evening. I have not quite, well, I have. I was going to say I've not quite decided what I'm going to play first, but it will be Quantum Break, people, uh, without any shadow of a doubt. I want to see how that has been tweaked and how good it plays. Because that was one thing I was really 
really looking forward to on the Xbox One and I kind of was disappointed that it wasn't quite up to the graphical prowess I was hoping for. So let's see how we got on with it. It has been an honour and well actually before I finish up I will I will do some videos with the Xbox One X absolutely I've got as I say I've got Witcher 3 ready to rumble I've got uh, Dragon Age Inquisition ready to rumble and a whole plethora of games that you know I'll try and pick out the sort of RPG type stuff for the channel I might show off a bit of Quantum Break problem with Quantum Break is it's got actual film footage inside the instead of cutscenes and stuff like that so yeah, it was a weird thing they did with it, so I'm not sure about that one. But I will, I'll try and push. There's been some Oblivion upgrades as well for the Xbox 360 and Fallout 3, so I may well throw up some videos for those just to see what we can see that's different and clearer. Apparently they made the colour palettes 10-bit instead of 8-bit and, and all this sort of stuff to, to give it an, a much cleaner and, and deeper colour uh, feel to it so people have been quite impressed with that even though it was back in pat so yeah so i will be throwing up some videos so there'll be a little bit of a delay on some of the dragon's dogma stuff so don't worry i will get back to it pillars of eternity is kind of taking a back seat as well i am aware of it all people i know people are waiting for me to do stuff <clears throat> i am but one man <laughs> hey but it has as i was saying a minute ago been an honor and a privilege doing this little video for you of an unboxing and i shall see you all next time folks take it easy bye